a quick unboxing and test of my TS-80 I got from Banggood. Right. It's a chisel tip. Seven. That's so much easier to change than before. I really like that. And USB-C. And I got Pro Kit because it has the fast charger, and I don't have one of those, so I needed one. Seems fairly solid. An Allen wrench for oh for the ground strap that you get. Um, we don't need that right now. Check it out. Got a really nice cable. The bodies are almost exactly the same length. I'm just gonna say they are the same length. And the only thing that's shorter is the tip. Right. Okay. So plug the USB-C in, lay it down, plug this in. I need to get a battery pack to test this with, but I don't have any capable of quick charge. So, oh, let's, let's see, you, you missed it. Let me do it again. Ready? Now, you get the mini logo, version 1.0.6, and the symbols like before, to heat it up and to look at the settings for the first time. 20. Oh, you can see the voltage, it's 8.57 right now. And there's a little peak here, like a, oh, that must be the tip. And then an arrow going up saying that it's heating. Still at eight and a half. Jumped up to nine for a second. And you know, we're up to temperature because these things heat so fast. So, let's see. It works, it's plenty hot. I might have to put in new firmware. I did on my TS-100 and it auto rotates the display. Or maybe that's just a setting I don't know about yet. But here you can see I've got it upside down. That's the one I worked on. And this one, the one I worked on. You can tell because there's flux on there. And I'm no professional, but I'd say it did a really good job. So yes, let us change that setting. So, whoa, what does low voltage mean? I don't like that. Um, low voltage. Okay, my power supply is not hot at all. I'm assuming that's low voltage. It says low vot. It's gotta be voltage. You hold down the down button, nothing happens. Hold down the up button, nothing happens. Both does nothing. Okay, I'm going to definitely edit this video and send it to, who am I gonna send it to? To guys at Mini, I guess, or maybe Banggood. I would test it with another power supply, but I don't have anything else that is quick charge capable. Um, it is very hot, but how hot? Okay, it must be cooling off because we're not hot enough to melt solder here. Um, yeah, I think we're just cooling off because that's not as hot as it was. Hmm, I don't like that at all. Well, that sucks. Okay. I 
know if we can get it to do it again. Quick charge 3.0. That's what I thought was required for this thing. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't even need that. You need quick charge 2.0 or 3.0. But if I have a faulty power supply, then I may just have to get another to test. So we're not gonna heat it up, we're just gonna go straight into the settings. Mini, we'll just do this with you guys. So press that button and we'll cycle through um, 19 Celsius. So long press on A, completed. Okay, I guess that worked. Let's check for new firmware. Okay, uh, we're at the menu here, and we have nothing. Let's heat it up. Hey, low voltage immediately. Look at that, we didn't even have to do anything. It's off. Oh, it can't even do it. Let's try it without the kilowatt. Mini? Hmm. So that's not good. It's it's suddenly even worse. But when we try and heat, now it heats. Okay, wait. Not hot yet. So weird, okay. Plug it back in. Heat. And now it works. What? So we're up to temp now. Hmm. Okay, let's turn this off. Since it's working, put that back into here. I want to see this work. We're in here. Heat. We're drawing 0.23 amps. And that's not while we're heating. Okay, we're going down 0.16 has a big load on it, it goes up to 0.3 amps. You can see that. You say the same thing. You can pause the video and check, but they say the same thing. Low voltage. And it's probably cooling off as we speak. Low voltage. And we are drawing nothing. Zero amps. Well, in two days, I can try my new power supply. So if you were soldering on something that had one of these things on it, it would really take a lot to get that going. So that did bring our current up. We're drawing 0 0.2, 0 0.28, 26. I would say that low voltage thing has nothing to do with the power provided from that. It's it's got plenty of power for this thing. It's just whatever code it has to use to supply that is pretty touchy right now. When it works, this iron's really awesome. 
uh, it's frustrating that I literally just got it and I have problems with it. Okay, day two, or three, because this took two days to get here. Um, haven't touched anything. This is a uh, quick charge 3.0 Qualcomm certified adapter. So if it doesn't work with this, I don't know what to tell you. So this is a legit product. Never heard of this DNOX thing I paid extra for. Okay, can't get it open. Um, there. Happy? Not happy. Huh. Oh, this is probably like a review thing. Yeah, how to get support. Okay. Welcome guide. There's not much to know with these things. Uh, you just plug them in. Here it is. More packaging. That in here. in a nice little bag. Okay, here it is. Retractable plug like a Mac, I like that. So, let's show the camera. Power port plus one with quick charge 3.0. Um, and it can do all the voltages, the one we want is the 9 to 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Uh, only got one port, can't mess it up. So, we're gonna plug this in. Really tight fit. I don't know if this is out of frame. Yeah, this is out of frame, but um, just trust me. We're plugging it in. Um, there's a green light on it. Cool. Here's the iron. Let me clean off the screen with my shirt. There we go. Nice and clean. And we're going to plug it in. Mini 1.06. No problems, we go straight into heating. Okay, it heated. Before I let it get too hot, let's try going to settings first. Settings. And you can step through these. I wonder the next time we have this problem, if we went to the power, I skipped at 18 and turned the power down, if then it would never say low voltage. But this is interesting. So this anchor, anchor produces 8.8 .8 volts. You can see it varies a little bit. About 0.1 volts. Now let's try this. Plug it in right next to it. So it's easy to switch. Um, let's turn it on. Mini 1.06. Uh, let's go to settings and dig through here. Huh, 8.98. No, okay, that's the wrong button. I'm gonna leave it on this screen just in case it'll go back to it. There we go. So when this is heating, it drops down to 8.57. Now, let's plug it in. Um, the anchor. Are we heated up yet? No, we're still cool. I better go get some water. Okay. So, plugged into the anchor now. We were, 
Uh, we'll just have to check the video. I can't remember the voltages off the top of my head. 3.8 volts. That's heat now. We were at 8.57 heating before. 8.16! <laughs> so the anchor has an even lower voltage. Drop while it's drawing. That much current. Let's let it heat up all the way. Eight point eight, eight point one six, eight point eight, eight point one six. Low voltage, and it cooled off. And I've also got this one that I just bought from Anchor. Anchor has yeah, Quick Charge three point oh, Qualcomm certified. Bat joint. And we've got a the joint. I wonder what the dealio is. Oh, there you go. It just turned off randomly sitting there. Low voltage. That's using the anchor. So, <clears throat> oops, it's got a more secure connection than this thing. Let's try it with this one. Gonna heat back up. Low voltage immediately. What the heck? So, just for fun, let's go into the settings, as I mentioned this earlier. Here's the power. Whoops. Let's go to 16. Low voltage. Okay, what the hell? Let's go even lower. Let's make it only 10 watts. Oh, 16 is as low as it can go. Eighteen is what it was at by default. Low voltage. Now it's gonna work. Holding at 8.6 volts. So this thing can hold the voltage a lot better than the anchor. Yep. Let's uh, use it some more. Oh, and we immediately got low voltage again. What the heck?